need to pray for the Pope. Pray for the Pope. The Pope. As I see myself right now, I see myself enter straight away to Vatican City right there in Vatican City. And as I see myself right there in Vatican City, and they say, pray for the Pope. Pray for the Pope. Pray for the Pope. Because I am seeing a controversy of a controversy. And I'm seeing a problem right there. I say, pray for the Pope because uh, something not good is coming. And God said, we must pray for the Pope of uh, the, the Catholic Church. Pray for Pope and the Catholic Church. And also pray because I'm seeing a nest. I'm seeing a black Pope coming on the face of this very leadership and hierarchy of what's called the, 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 the Catholic hierarchy. hierarchy. I'm seeing a black Pope coming straight away to the hierarchy because this black Pope is a kind of Pope that is needed to agenda of some certain things that need to be things not everything we know begin to digest but I'm seeing a black Pope coming straight away right to the Vatican City so we need to pray for the Pope pray for the Pope let the God give him strength. Let God protect him. Let God preserve him. Pray. That is how I can give you the message. I'm giving you that message that way. So we can pray. We want to pray. We are not allowing, we are not standing, folding our hands for negative things to continue to happen. We have to pray. Do what we can do. And then allow God. And the will of God should be done. We need to pray for the poor. This is what is already in the spiritual world. And the sector they are. To, you know, uh, show face on the face of the earth. We need to pray for the Pope. We need to pray for the Pope because I'm seeing what is called Black Pope coming up. I see Black Pope, but there's a lot of controversy, a lot of controversy, controversy, a lot of struggle, and a lot of a lot of things being dragged here and there. But uh, God has uh, the best at mind for us. Bible said that God knows his thoughts towards us and the thought of God is thought of good and not of evil. And the Bible said that God is going to give us our expected end. When we begin to pray all these prayers, we are praying so that God will give us our expected end. We are not praying to lose out. We are not praying to fall away. We are not praying to, you know, be downcasted. We are praying for the future that God should take absolute control of the future. And the Lord said, the people in Nigeria should rejoice because God is going to step in and help everybody. God is going to step in and help everybody. God is going to help the Biafras. God is going to help the Oduwas. God is going to help the Arewas. God is going to help even the Flanish. And God is going to help everybody. God is stepping in to help everybody. And when this helping of everybody comes in, the perfect will of God and what God wants for everybody will surely come to pass. And what we are looking for will be handed over in a platter of gold to everybody. And we will all will rejoice and will sing the praises and worship the Lord. And the songwriter sang and said, I will sing and praise the Lord. 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 Oh, 
Lord, I will sing and praise the Lord. 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 All understanding is going to reign, and God will give his people victory. And I see the people in Biafra land celebrating and happy, and I see the people who do our people celebrating and happy, and I see the Arawans and all the people there celebrating and are happy because God is going to step in to do that which no man expects for God to do. God is stepping in to do something that will surprise everybody. And people will be wondering, how did this happen? Because this is what is called outside the box. And when I look at outside the box, I see God taking a different step altogether to prove himself on the face of the earth and to prove to mankind that he remains God, the ruler of the affairs of man, the ruler of the universe, the creator of heavens and the earth, the God who knows all things, who knows how to help his people. These are the things that God has already shown to me also look at we must continue to pray in prayer because prayer is the key to open every closed door prayer is the key to get whatever we are looking for no matter what we want to do physically when we pray we take the step and god gives us the permanent victory that lasts with us forever in the mighty name of jesus then another thing we must all do everything possible is to make sure that we allow the glory of god to step in and take over. Let the glory of God step in and take over. The glory of God should step in and take over. When we allow the glory of God to step in and take over, matters will settle. Matters, unbelievable matters, will automatically settle and the light will shine permanently and forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let God show his mercy. Let God show his mercy. When we pray for the mercy, God will show us mercy. Wherever you are, you are watching me, receive the mercy of God. Wherever you are, you are watching me, receive the blessings of God. Wherever you are, you are watching me, the Lord speak for you. The Lord liberate you. The Lord deliver you. The Lord help you. The Lord give you spiritual support. The Lord give you backup. The Lord begin to open your doors. Every single door you have been knocking at that has not opened, I prophesy that those doors begin to open for you. Whichever way you have tried to follow before and they are not working for you every road that you are following and expecting one thing or the other praying to God to bless you it is time for God to bless you it is time for God to remember you it is time for God to liberate you it is time for God to answer your prayer it is time for God to say yes to you wherever they say no to you heaven is saying yes to you wherever they denied you what belonged to you as a prophet I am standing in the office of a major prophet of God to prophesy that wherever they rejected you wherever they denied you wherever they take what belongs to you the lord recover the 
them for you. The Lord will restore for you. The Lord will bring back your expectations. Some of you have been dreaming, dreaming of greatness before, but all of a sudden something came up and truncated your greatness. Whatever has truncated your greatness, I prophesy upon your life that whatever has truncated your greatness, the Lord will restore back your greatness right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever I say no to you, whatever been struggling with your light, I prophesy your light now to begin to shine that no more darkness to cover your light again. If you can say amen to that, I see your light shining automatically. I see your light shining and no darkness can be able to cover your light anymore. Wherever they denied you, if you can say amen and comment amen, the Lord is bringing back whatever they denied to you. The Lord is giving it back to you. Contractors rejoice because God is bringing back your contract. People that are into business rejoice because God is remembering your business and opening door for you. And I see in the realm of the spirit, a lot of people now begin to dream as they are dreaming the Lord, begin to make their dreams to come to pass. I see a lot of people now inventing a lot of things. I see a lot of invention coming here and there. People are going to bring solution to so many things. And as far as you are hearing the sound of my voice and you say amen, the Lord is going to choose you among the people that will receive the grace and receive the power, receive the anointing to be among the people that are going to invent those revolution that is coming. A lot of changes, a lot of dramatic turnaround here and there. A lot of solution to problems, solution to whatever has been bedeviling the edge. You are going to be among the people that God is going to use to bring solution. Whoever has been oppressing you in one way or the other, spiritually and physically, the hand of the Lord is stretched out to deliver you, to fight for you, to liberate you and give you victory over all the menace of the enemy. And your testimony starts right now as you say amen to this very broadcast. Your amen is a key to possessing your possession. Your amen is a key to receiving what belongs to you. Your amen is a key to taking it by fire by force. The Bible says the kingdom of God suffered violence and only the violence one take get it by force. I prophesy to you it is time to take everything you are looking for by fire by force in the name of Jesus. Every area you have been battling to receive what belongs to you, whatever I've been saying not to you, we no longer so no. Anything that I've been denying you, we no longer deny you. Whatever I've been troubling your life, we no longer trouble your life. Whatever I've been tormenting you, we no longer torment you. That thing you are praying for, receive it now, receive it now, receive it now, receive the job. That place where they told you in the place of work, they told you the job is not for you, that the job is for another person. They said they cannot give you that they are sorry. I prophesy in your life between now and tomorrow and this weekend, they will call you back and say, brother, come and resume your work in the name of Jesus. Sister, come and resume your job. Come and take what belongs to you. Whoever they are hoping on to take over your position, I push the person away and I aspire the person not to be able to meet up until they call you back and give you back your position and give you higher promotion and take you higher higher as i prophesy so the lord will make it happen i declare the heaven to open the glory of god the light of god the presence of god the might of the almighty the strength of jehovah to be given to you by power shall no man prevail you are not going to do anything on your own power you are dependent on the power of the almighty to do whatever you want to do i prophesy receive more grace and more authority more power to do that which is impossible, to do that thing that no man can do, let the Lord give you the grace to do them in Jesus' name. Are you looking for a job? Receive a good job. Are you praying for healing? Receive your healing. Are you praying for financial breakthrough? Every one of you expecting financial breakthrough, wherever you are, you are praying for financial breakthrough. I, the major prophet, Dr. David Elijah, I prophesy that your breakthrough now begin to come to you. Is there any matter that has been giving you sleepless nights? You have been battling with this matter. It seems the matter cannot solve. You try everything possible to see how to come out of this matter and the matter is there. You have done everything you can and the matter is still there. I prophesy as a prophet of God that right now that matter be settled spiritually. That matter be settled spiritually. That matter be settled and taken over by the Lord. That your victory completely given to you.